give you, uh, as we do, the players of the week. On defense, Jonathan Cooper, uh, Devon Hamilton, Draymon, Draymon Jones, Pete Werner, and uh, Jordan Fuller. And the player of the game was Tom Portland. Uh, on offense, uh, receivers were outstanding. That's six guys, great champions. Uh, Paris, nine catches for 142 yards. Johnny had five catches, 74 yards. Terry, four catches, 60 yards. KJ Hill, four catches. Ben Victor, just keep coming on, had a, uh, just a great catch. And Austin Mack had uh, five catches, 50 yards. Tight ends both graded champion Rashad Berry and Luke Farrell. And uh, player of the game was our quarterback, who had a really good day, uh, 502 total yards, uh, Dwayne Haskins. Special teams, we didn't uh, decide it just wasn't uh, at two punts. They fair caught every kickoff uh, we had. Kickoff return was non factor, so uh, we went without a special team, not because uh, they were keeping, but did not give good effort just to do it. Uh, one. So, uh, comments about the game coming up. Uh, best thing about 6 0, a chance to go 7 0 uh, against a team that has a top 20 defense. Uh, they're young on offense. And uh, it's just great to be back home. And I'll answer your questions. Front row, middle, Dave. Urban, halfway through the regular season, how do you feel about your offensive line? What do you like about the offensive line? What needs to improve with the offensive well, we line? Had, uh, we had five champions for several weeks <clears throat> in a row. This week, we didn't play particularly well. So we got to get back to, uh, I think, protection. They're very good. You know, we got to get back to more balance. We've been saying that. And uh, we're going to work again this week at that. And Brandon Bone, we haven't asked you about him in a while. He's he, close. He is close. Okay. Yeah. So there's a chance he could. Come back relatively soon. Chance, yeah. Thank you. Front row left, Bill. Urban, um, as you guys are trying to get some more things going in the run game, has there been any consideration um, to playing tape and short yardage or in the red zone just to bring that element back to the offense? There has been. There continues to be that conversation. What What goes into that? What's the balance? Because we've talked before about the lack of depth of quarterback too. Just how much is that a factor? And, and also offensive rhythm when you're bringing in a new guy like that. Yes, 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 yes. All all, those are all the conversations that we have. <laughs> You know, tight, Tate's a very dynamic player, and uh, we're, those are the questions we have every two hours. And with the offensive line, you, you mentioned it, it, it seems like they're holding up very well against the blitz and pass protection, but when teams are loading up against the run, there's, it's inconsistent. Just what, what's the difference there when teams are loading up against the run and the pass, and what have you seen out of your guys handling both? You're very uh, you're correct about the uh, pressures, you know, and uh, a lot of those are five-man pressures that Dwayne has time. Uh, gets the ball out. Um, the, the run game, it's a little more complicated than that. It, it's, uh, you know, we, we got to do a better job as coaches, a better job, obviously, uh, with players, uh, just execute the run game. Because it's not always that. It's not always a loaded box. So, once again, that's, you know, the weakness of our team right now is balance on offense and obviously pass defense. Second row left, Ari. Urban, I. <coughs> You've been back for a few weeks since the tough month that you've had. I was wondering, how has it been um, as a recruiter? Uh, how, I mean, and, I mean, I can imagine you always talk about being on top of it, making calls every day. You know, it's that it's always changing. I mean, what was it like to have an absence like that and to come back? Um, can you just kind of take me through what it was, what it was kind of like for you? Well, I'll do respect. I like to just move forward, and it's been great. You know, we're working our tails off recruiting. We had a big visit uh, weekend this weekend. Uh, the team's playing very well, um, so recruiting's going very good. Uh, front, far right over here, Clay. Pardon me for being nosy, but the headache episode uh, on Saturday, it, it looked like to me you had a similar situation come at Penn State, and uh, it seems they come and they go quickly. Uh, is it an issue, Coach? Well, I've, I've been dealing with that cyst for many years, and, and uh, we had a, a, a surgery several years ago, and when it does take place, it's just, uh, you know, give me some medicine and, and uh, I feel fine now. Just something I got to monitor. Front row right, Austin. Or I think it was a couple years ago you said when there were things going wrong on defense that you would get more involved uh, trying to find out what the solutions could be. Are you at that point now? Do you, are you getting in the mix with what's happening with those breakdowns? I have conversations. You know, I, I have so much confidence in the people doing it. But, uh, that we get that fixed. Has there been a, a common theme that you've seen with those when those plays get loose? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, and I don't want to get into too much detail other than uh, 
it's a variety of things, but uh, you know, getting second level when someone gets a second level, get them on the ground, and then some coverage issues we've had. Those guys, uh, the starters that left the game on Saturday, uh, Cooper and Harrison, do you have any uh, injury updates? Much ones? better today. We'll know more probably later today or tomorrow. We'll much better. Third row left, Dan. Urban being six games into the regular season now, kind of at the halfway point, what's kind of impressed you most about this team so far and what do you see as areas that maybe haven't quite looked like here? Well, we've overcome some significant injuries. You know, uh, the most notable is uh, Nick Bosa. Uh, and we're still finding ways to win games. And, and uh, you know, just really good people on this team. You know, we go out to practice and uh, – Guys want to get better, so I just it's a good group to coach, good people, and guys work really hard. Front row, right, Bill. Yeah, um, just another question about the defense. I mean, we are six games into it at this point of the season. I'm sure you would like to be further along in terms of fixing those problems. Do you think that they are kind of systemic problem? I mean, when, when you look at them, do you think, okay, this is just one guy out of place, or do you think there's something serious going on here? Well, you looked at the last half of the game, they held them to 100 yards uh, against Indiana second half, and then also uh, uh, created a couple turnovers, stopped them on fourth down. So there's a lot of positives. What happens on the negative or interference balls or jump balls type things. Uh, we look at everything, overanalyze everything, so it's not as simple as this. It's, it's a variety of things, but we try to build on positives, and the positives are the second half, we played outstanding. Against Penn State, we gave up some yards, but it was 14 13 going in the fourth quarter. So there are some positives. And about the pass interference things, I know the philosophy <coughs> is that we've been told by coaches and players that if you're right on the guy, then you, you look for the ball. If you're not, if they've got a step or more on you, then you try to uh, swap in their arms. Can you just kind of explain that philosophy and whether you think that's working well enough? That's a, that's a pretty uh, uh, Philosoph that's a philosophical coach that most people who play press coverage, that's the idea. And uh, those are pump and run coverage, press coverage is a very hard skill. You know, the reason we do it, we want to challenge every throw. And we've had some excellent corners, I believe we have excellent corners now. It's uh, a skill that uh, requires an incredible amount of uh, work. And when you're good, it's great. You know, I mean, press coverage, we disrupt passes constantly. Uh, but what you just said is true, and that takes a lot of work. It's obviously something we believe in, and we will continue to believe in as long as we can. Uh, but it's it's a skill set that's very difficult uh, that we ask them to do, and we just got to continue working better. Because it's the risk reward on that once you get great at that, that you play great defense. Lori? Coach, I don't. I hope this isn't a stupid question because I know what the math is, but. Are you right now as comfortable or maybe even more comfortable on third and seven as you are third and one? That's not a, to be respectful of you say it's a stupid question, that's not a stupid question at all. It's a great question. Um, third and one's tough right now. When they, you know, we got to, that's something where, that's another weakness. So our weakness right now is balance and on offense and a short yardage. You know, we had a couple of close ones uh, Saturday. And he, you know, there's a time you're gonna have to throw it, and uh, we have, uh, but there might be more time to throw that. Uh, third and seven. I haven't done that. That's a, I might go look at that right when we leave here. But you know, he's a very accurate guy, and we have some really good receivers. So to answer your question, that's not that far off right now. You know, it used to be when the dual threat stuff. And I won't say it's automatic, but we, <coughs> it's pretty good. So that's a great question. Front row right, Tim. Yeah, I was going to follow up with that, Urban. Uh, you, you look at Dwayne Haskins Jr., he appears to be a prototype, almost pocket kind of passer kind of guy. W would that lead you down the road to getting him under center sometimes for, for those kind of situations? I mean, it doesn't really give you anything. Yeah. You know, maybe a quarterback sneak, but it doesn't, you know, whether it's shotgun, you're still going to, they don't change their defense. Yeah. But the, I mean, whole, the, the whole idea of being is that when you take that quarterback position and it's a handoff player, they, can plus you by two. Does so that make sense in those situations? Yeah. And that's what's happening right now. And there's, and with that kind of play, which we've had before, is that the answer is you have to throw it a little bit more often on those short yarded situations. And I think we had one last week where we were short yards and we threw a wild cut and got the yeah. first down. So we just got to be willing to do that. 
No, that, that's the thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Minnesota. What jump? I mean, they started out pretty good. Very good. He, he, yeah. Last two weeks. Defense. Yeah. Last two weeks, though, they've had a tough time defensively. It looks like. But uh, what, what just stands out about them? Well, their defense is uh, outstanding. Uh, they're a not a big pressure team, but they're they got a. Uh, one great pass rusher, number 45, excellent player. And uh, they had a tough injury to one of the best players in the conference. Yeah. Uh, but their defense is outstanding. And they've got that freshman quarterback. Have you been able to watch video oh, yeah. yet of him? And stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. And last thing, uh, did you contemplate, have you contemplating having a, whatever you want to call it, another procedure with your cyst, or you just, can you get by now with uh, what, what you're doing? I'll get by with what we're doing. Yeah. And final set of questions from her right, Austin. Urban, you talk so much about the, the wide receivers and the elite level they're playing at. How has uh, their position coach there, the new one, Brian Hartline, uh, handled that job? He's been great. He's uh, learning on the run still, doing some great things, though. And you know, one thing about our job, it's very evaluation friendly. And they're playing very well. Okay. You don't have to make a decision right now, I guess. But has he done enough to have that interim tag taken off? I mean, could he be a full-time? Oh, he should be good. Great. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Urban. Thanks, Urban. Thanks. Thanks.